So, Mirin, yeah. you've been elected to the board of the European New Firm two weeks ago. Yes, I was. Yes, how do you feel now? Um, well, it, feel, it feels quite great. Uh, but I will know only tomorrow or the day after tomorrow how much work I will have in the board and what are my responsibilities. And only then I can tell you how I really feel about being a board member because for, for the moment it's quite unknown to me what will happen. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, can you explain to us what is the European New Forum and what is the relation between the European New Forum and IG? Uh, so the European New Forum uh, YFJ uh, is the biggest is the biggest European uh, youth platform, gathering 98 uh, youth organizations, both national youth councils and international non-governmental youth organizations. So we have uh, organizations like ASEAN or ESN that probably might be most familiar for you. Uh, we have more specialized organizations dealing with only uh, rural youth or youth from minorities. Uh, we have young parts of political parties that are uh, present on the European uh, level. We have um, national youth councils that are uh, established nowadays in almost all European countries. So in total we govern 98 organizations and Asia is one of them. Mm -hmm. But us being based in Brussels and dealing a lot with issues that are important for all young people, we are quite visible and quite active all over the, net, uh, all over the platform. Mm -hmm. And what, why is it good for us to be, to be there and to be visible? Uh, because as I mentioned, there are a lot of organizations that are dealing with different youth issues uh, all around Europe. And sometimes it might be hard for Asia to reach directly politicians, policy makers in all different countries and on the European level. So uh, whenever we are unable to deliver our message ourselves, it's very valuable to actually be a member of such a platform where we can put our issues in the spotlight and let them to work on what we want to work. Okay, so, and what are currently the main activities of the European Youth Forum? So, what is it advocating for? What are the main priorities? So, uh, we have um, two different documents that are setting our agenda. We have strategic priorities, which are uh, established once every six years. Mm -hmm. And there are work plans that are uh, separately established for each uh, board. So, in the current uh, work plan, uh, we'll be focusing on different issues connected to youth rights, to uh, uh, active participation of young people, um, issues connected to developing uh, youth platforms and youth work, but also things that are more important probably for Asia, uh, meaning uh, mobility of young people, uh, visa-free travels for people from outside the European Union to the EU, uh, for volunteering purposes or, uh, or internship studies and, and so on and so on. Uh, we are also dealing with what is also quite uh, significant and quite important for all of us. Uh, we are dealing with advocating for the new uh, generation of youth and education programs mm -hmm. so that they are really what we expect them to be and what we want them to be. And apart from it, we have some initiatives like Bold at 16, so we are trying to uh, convince policymakers that it's worth of giving younger people a right to vote and stand themselves in elections, uh, especially in the European elections, uh, maybe not from uh, 2014, but maybe in, in a longer run. Mm. Uh, yeah, so that will be the biggest things that we have at the moment. Okay, very good. And can you explain what is the League of Young Voters? So, as I mentioned, we are... Uh, we are very involved in making young people aware of their rights to vote and to encourage them to vote. Because as you might remember from also AJ activities uh, three years ago when we had Why Vote, uh, our turn at the elections, especially European elections, among young people that are voting for the first time is extremely low. Mm -hmm. So now we are trying to convince and to direct our message to all young people that they should actively participate in the next European elections because their vote matters. And the more they're, uh, they're visible, the more they participate in it, the more expectations they can put on the table and ask future uh, MEPs to uh, work on. And the League of Young Voters is aiming at uh, encouraging young people to vote, to stand themselves in elections, and to organize an uh, informative uh, campaign uh, where we would discuss what we expect the policymakers in the future to do 
and uh, to encourage young people. And they also plan to involve member organizations in that? Yes, uh, the League of Young Voters, and it actually is an issue of the entire youth forum. We are only a platform, we are, we are an umbrella. So we do not do all of our activities ourselves, but we invite our member organizations to participate together with us. So there is the idea, and now we actually look for different organizations, member organizations of the Youth Forum, to propose different types of activities. So we hope that ASGE would also actively get involved in the whole process and, and participate in the project. Mm -hmm. Very good, because we're also planning to have Vivo 2014, so... <coughs> Okay, so now you're on the board of uh, the European Youth Forum, and what has actually had, what has actually IJ done to help you achieve this? What kind of competences have you gained? What kind of experience? Oh, I mean, the fact that I actually know about the Youth Forum is all thanks to IJ. And the first time I actually uh, came across the Youth Forum was when I was about to join the committee director in 2010. Before that, I attended one of the events that were co-organized by the Belgian Presidency of the Council of the European Union and the European Youth Forum, which was the first European uh, uh, conference on youth work. And that was my first event where I actually met people from the Youth Forum. Then as a board member, I was involved in many processes inside of the Youth Forum because I was also responsible for contacting them at many occasions. And that was also around then when I started to work uh, in the expert group of the European Youth Forum on the Youth in Action 2.0 program, so mm -hmm. the next generation of it. And uh, ever since then I've been more and more involved. And what I got from Asia that definitely helps me in the Youth Forum is uh, being really European. So I can actually contribute, not from a perspective of a Polish person that I am, not from a perspective of a student from Poland, but from a perspective of a European person that knows people all across the all across the continent, and I can actually speak on behalf of many people, not only on behalf of myself. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the biggest thing that actually changed me, and uh, thanks to Asia. Mm -hmm. Good, nice to hear. And um, now a bit like you were saying, like general priorities of the U Forum. What would be your priorities when you will be working there, and how do you expect Asia to contribute to your priorities? Uh, so, <clears throat> from the very beginning of the campaign that I was running for my elections, I've been stressing uh, three main issues that I want to focus myself on in the European Youth Forum. It's mobility and uh, particularly issues of visas and residence permits from, uh, for people from outside the EU. So, I want to work on uh, e issues and methods of young people coming to the EU for volunteering, educating, uh, education purposes, to do internships, scholarships, traineeships, and whatever. Um, I want that to be facilitated, I want it to be easier and painless for them. And as a board member of AGE, probably you came across those problems quite a lot uh, of times, as we each year have some volunteers coming from Eastern Europe, for instance, or Balkans, having struggles to receive their resident permit in Brussels uh, on time. Uh, so I, I find it very important both for Asia and for all young people in Europe. Second of all, I, will be, I would like to work on uh, issues of formal education, uh, probably mostly about issues of higher education, but because we have also member organizations of the European Youth Forum that are dealing with uh, secondary uh, uh, education, high schools and so on, uh, that will be also hopefully part of the uh, discussion and the dialogue that we will have in the European Youth Forum. And third issue that I would like to stress uh, during my mandate uh, will be uh, further development of the uh, new generation of youth and education programs. And now we are stepping a phase when we are discussing technicalities, uh, so when we are drafting the um, guidelines for how to implement the programs that the politicians are now uh, discussing. Uh, how LJ can uh, help me uh, first of all, to provide me with first-hand in-field, in-the-field uh, experience. Mm -hmm. So when, I, when I'm about to speak about visas, when I'm about to speak about residence permit, I need to know that it's not a concern that I imagined to be important, but I need young people backing me and stressing that this is an issue of all youngsters across, the, across Europe. 
Uh, so it would be nice if, if you also put it on your agenda, if you also work on it, if there are people interested in it. Uh, same goes for higher education, same goes for education in general, because uh, I would like to link formal education with non-formal education, and I think we are representing both modes of education in Asia, and we can work on it together. Uh, so I hope that my interest that I'm bringing to the board of the European Youth Forum uh, will be also shared by members of Asia. And whenever you have some ideas on how to work on it or what is important, just please address me with it and uh, please come and tell me about it. Tell me what is your idea, tell me what is your, uh, your perspective, your take on that. Mm -hmm. How can we benefit from you being in the board? Uh, first of all, I think I'll be listening to Aja mostly because you are my friend and I know you. So whenever there is a new issue uh, tabled in the youth forum and I will need to discuss it with somebody, probably you'll be my first, uh, first choice to, to, to ask questions about it. And I think it brings also a lot of uh, visibility to uh, Aja. Uh, Youth Forum is uh, quite a politicized uh, organization and network. Uh, we are meeting a lot of politicians, we are meeting a lot of uh, officials and different stakeholders in many processes. And I think by having a person from Asia, it's always a good thing. And I think that also, or I hope at least, that uh, because of having a person in the Youth Forum, I hope that more people would be interested in going beyond Asia. So using the, uh, our organization, Asia, as, as a trampoline to go further, to go deeper in different topics and to go uh, more in technical, political uh, aspects of different processes. Mm -hmm. Mire, do you have any concluding remarks? Um, yeah, I think I, I would like to use this opportunity to thank uh, Asia, everybody from Asia, for support that I received from all of you. I would like to thank the board of Asia uh, Europe that helped me a lot by being in Maribor during the elections, by lobbying for me, uh, by helping me. And uh, I would like to encourage you to contact me whenever you have any questions, whenever you have any concerns or ideas what we should do in the Youth Forum or how Asia should work with the Youth Forum. So whenever you have any uh, ideas, just please contact me or contact the lesson officer for the European Youth Forum that we also have in Asia. Marko Bedosic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or contact the board of Asia Europe, Europe, uh, of, uh, Asia Europe that would pass the message to me, I'm sure of it. Yes, of course.